Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, so many lessons to learn from the experience of the kings of Israel. And today I want to talk to each one of us and present to you another king by the name Jeroboam. The son of Solomon, Rehoboam, became the king. He refused to listen to the plead and request of the people of Israel. And the kingdom was divided into two, Israel and Judah. And the children of Israel, the ten tribes, came to Jeroboam and they said, Be our king. And he said, Sure. He celebrated that he is now going to be the king. Oh, brothers and sisters, are you celebrating the privilege be to become a king of a breakaway group? Jeroboam became the king. Rehoboam became the king of Judah. Jeroboam became the king of the breakaway ten tribes of Israel. But that was not the only problem. Jeroboam thought of a brilliant idea to completely break away. And so he began to build two shrines, temple in Samaria, so that people will not go up to Jerusalem to worship anymore. And he made a golden calf and placed it there and told everybody, from now on, you don't have to go to Jerusalem so far away. Just worship here. This is your God. This is your temple. Oh, brothers and sisters, are you replacing God for the sake of your position? Jeroboam made that calf, built that temple so that he will continue to be the king so that people will not go up to Jerusalem and change their heart. He built temple and made a golden calf, going back to the worship that began in Egypt. Are you taking back people to the worldly worship, the worldly things as a leader? Or are you taking your members closer to God, to the foot of the cross? Or are you taking them away? Are you taking people away from the city of peace, the city of God? So that your position, your power can be consolidated. How unfortunate. You read the Bible and you find through the history of the kingdom of Israel. It was the scene of Jeroboam building a temple, building, making that golden calf and making people to worship there that ultimately destroyed the kingdom of Israel forever. Brothers and sisters who are in leadership position today, will it be your decision that will ultimately destroy forever? Will it be the things that you do today and make people do today destroy your institution forever? Will it be the things that you do today and make people do today take them forever away from the love of God? I hope not. I hope and I pray that we will learn from the life of Jeroboam. Oh, all through the history of Israel, you will find that Jeroboam's name is taken as a proverb, as an example for sin, committing sin. The sins of Jeroboam was the proverb that was always used all through the history. I hope and pray that down the history, they will not take your name as an example, as a proverb to talk about leading away from God. The sins of so-and-so, it was because of so-and-so, it was because of so-and-so. The sins of so-and-so, I hope that will not be you. Let us learn from the life of Jeroboam that we will not be like Jeroboam. That we will not make people to do things and to say things and to worship things. That is displeasing to God. But may we be leaders in the church, in the institutions that will always honor God, that will always lead people to be obedient to God, that will always glorify God. 
Oh, I pray that we will not be like Jeroboam in our leadership today. May God bless us not to be like Jeroboam. This is Pastor Verican for Breakthrough Today.